Welcome everyone, Vincent Hatman. Hey, Miss Hatman Jewels. Yes. Hatman Headquarters. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow is opening day of Boysenberry, and we wanted to give you a quick preview of it, Julie. Yes, we're super excited about Boysenberry Festival. So Boysenberry Festival is running for the next month, basically, and uh, hopefully it's going to be a little bit better than the peanut celebration, Julie. Yeah, maybe not my favorite this year so far, but... Yeah, I mean, you know, the food was a little too mac and cheesy for us. <laughs> too, uh, that, too... that and the fact that Camp Snippy was closed I for know. the most part, and there wasn't uh, anything new except Meet Franklin, which was, you know... Well, that was super fun. Yeah, I love Franklin. It was Franklin. fun. We love Franklin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. too. I get it. So we're going to be there tomorrow, but we wanted to give you a quick preview tonight of uh, a few things that we found that we're going to try, and we feel like maybe, you know, you should check them out too. So first is the entertainment, yes. right? And we have one of our favorite shows back, Julie, and that is called what? Knots Preserved. Knots Preserved. A really a good show. Great show. Yeah, and, you know, Knots puts on Broadway entertainment style shows, so if you've never seen one, you go see it. It's at the Calico Stage. They're singing and dancing, and it, it it's really really good. So we would we would definitely suggest. I think that you got to put that on your list of must things to do. There's a play at the Birdcage Theater too called Riverboat Revenge. It's fun. I wouldn't say it's as good as the Holiday Plays, Joel. Would you? True. It's it's fun. It's not you know. It's, it's just, fun. It's, it's, just it's a fun play. It's fun it was, play. this is your three of it if I'm not mistaken. Yes, this is the third year. Um, and it's a fun play, so you can do that too. But what we'd recommend for sure you do is Knots Preserved. Check that out. And two, go see the art show called Tied Up in Knots. Oh, yeah. And that, I think, is at the the store. It's over at the factory, factory store. Factory store mm -hmm. when you come off Berry Tales. We don't have to go on Berry Tales to go in there. Yeah. Right next to the bumper cars. Right. So go see that for sure. Our friend Evan has a... Uh, an ode to Barry Tales, an old little thing he did with Wanda um, from the uh, old ride, and it's fantastic. So check that out. So those are the two things we would say see is tied up in knots mm -hmm. and knots preserved. Those are the two things we would hundred percent recommend you do for entertainment wise. Um, they have a couple other things. I mean, the livery stables open again. There's animals in there too. I saw there's sheep this year, which is fun. So you can go in there and check it out too. So um, those are on the entertainment side, which is always what we love the most. Um, but it is Boysenberry Festival, and it yes. really is all about the food. The food. So we're going to give you a few things just that we've looked at. We checked them all out online. You can go on Knots.com, and you can check them all out. But there's a lot. And this year, the meal plan, there's 12 items, right, Jewel? 12 and items that really are on the dining good. plan. That's really good. 12 items is, is really, really good. That's excellent. So... Um, I think the most, we're going to give you kind of what we thought was like the three most interesting things. Um, I don't know if they're going to be the best things yet. We'll find that out. But the three most interesting things. And the first one, Julie's going to read it off to you. It's a beef stroganoff. Go ahead, Jewel. Yes. So that's going to be the beef stroganoff. Of course, if I could find it on here, it's pretty uh, beef, one pot beef stroganoff. So it's got cavatappi noodles and boysenberry bolognese. I have no idea what a cavatappi noodles. They're like is. little curly pasta. Okay. Like yeah. cavat cavatappi noodles. If I say okay. if I said it right, you say but it five times. Right. So it's it's cavatappi noodles, beef stroganoff, and then a boysenberry sauce or bolognese. bolognese. So meat sauce. Yes, boysenberry meat, meat sauce. sauce. Okay, that looked the most interesting. There were some other things, some shrimp tater tots that looked interesting. Yes. Um, pickled pizza <laughs> that looked interesting. Oh, um, but we're going to say the beef stroganoff is mm -hmm. something that we want to check out. So yes. that would be your meal plan option that we'd recommend checking out, at least based on this. And we'll give you the full review tomorrow. Well, maybe we can't eat everything tomorrow, but we're going to no. be with some friends, and hopefully they're going to try things, we're going to try things, and we can we can go from there. So, and then our favorite dessert is something really kind of cool, Julie. You know, funnel cakes are always at the top of our list. Oh, yeah. Go to the Ghost Town Bakery. That They have some great items there, too. But this funnel cake sounded really interesting. Yeah, so ba it? banana pudding funnel cake banana with pudding a boysenberry cake. drizzle. Mm -hmm. Banana pudding funnel cake with a boysenberry drizzle. Yes. Okay, so it sounds like some kind of banana cream pie almost or something. Almost. So that's what we would check out there. I think that's at Sutter's or Log Ride funnel yes. cake. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Sutter's Funnel Cake or whatever you call that. Ghost Town Funnel Cake. 
Um, so I would go with that on that end. And then our third item that's just on the tasting card, Julie, is what? Well, it was so hard to decide. There's a lot of them. I know. Well, we had, hmm. Wait, I forgot already? I forgot because we were looking at a zillion different things. Were we talking about, now there was something that was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there's the pickle pizza. We spent like 20 minutes I talking know, about this, about what's the it? third thing. You don't remember what it was? Now I don't remember. Now she's the only one who's got glasses on, so we're kind of screwed now <laughs> of what it was. So I guess we're going to have to cut the video here and uh, stop doing this. Okay, we're back. We're back. <laughs> the third one, I don't know why we both kind of forgot. I mean, I remember what it was, but... It, it's go ahead, Joel. Yeah, it's called the boysenberry chicken tinga nachos. And those look pretty so good. What does those, it say about it? Wow, it's pretty. Yeah, Some it's got a lot of stuff. And... Boysenberry chicken tinga nachos with boysenberry salsa and sour cream. Sounds good. It sounds, does. Sounds good. So we tried to hit three categories there: desserts, the banana pudding funnel cake, mm -hmm. for the meal plan, the beef stroganoff, and for the just a tasting card item. That's definitely a tasting card item, right? Yes. The nachos? Okay. Some other things were shrimp, like we said. What other things are kind of interesting? The pickle pizza. Yeah. They also had a honey hot sausage pizza at Prop Shop. Um, they had some other interesting items on here. They had a double stuffed baked potato yes. with pulled pork and boysenberry glaze. So there's a lot to try. So, but those are the three things we're going to, that seem like, we, you know, we tried to get a little bit of everything category wise, you know? Yeah. Um, so... We'll check those out. Another couple of things we really want to recommend to you are definitely there's a pie eating contest. If oh I'm not yeah, there is always, there's a, a, pie always a pie eating contest, and that's really cool. So definitely suggest you do that. And don't forget there's the crafters. There's a craft fair going on that yeah. if you were there for Christmas, you know the crafters. Not as many crafters, but a lot of great crafters, and we have a lot of friends there. And we want to shout out uh, Chris and Cami. Who, they're right across from Gold Trails Hotel. We want to shout out Mrs. Doolittle, who's always there, Maria and Mama, who are awesome. And our friend Michelle, we're so proud of you, Michelle. Yay, Michelle. If you want some unbelievable peanut brittle, she's going to be selling peanut, be peanut brittle this year. Yes. At the Berry Festival, and we're stoked for her for that. And there's so many other good vendors there, too. I, you know, we, I don't want to miss anybody, but our friend Teresa's there. She does hand sewed stuff. And um, our friend who makes the signs, handmade signs, she's probably going to be there. And we have all kinds of friends there who are important to us and good people and support the crafters, Julie. Always, always support the crafters. Okay, so that's it for our little quick boysenberry yeah. preview for tomorrow. I'm going to upload this video right. so you can see it hopefully tonight or tomorrow morning. And uh, before you head to the farm this weekend sometime, we'll be there tomorrow. But anytime you go, maybe this gives you a little help of what's going on. We have a Facebook group, which is killing it, Julie. And what is it called? It's called Knots Then and Now. Knots Then and Now. Check out Knots Then and Now. Join that group. It's a, it's a group basically based on old photos of the past, which I love, and then what's going on in the park now. So again, we'll look forward to tomorrow at Boysenberry Festival. We'll be there lots of times because there's just too much food. We can't try everything in one day. There's so many things. We are going to start the day, though, at 30 Acres, the new restaurant at the Knott's Hotel. And we are going to try breakfast there. And we're going to tell you how that is, too. So that should be a fun time, too. And our friend Janice is going to join us. Our friend Ligia. Maybe our friend um, uh, Quentin from Wicked Journey gonna possibly stop into we'll see who shows up and uh i'm ready for a fun day tomorrow at boysenberry joel me too i okay. can't wait all right guys all right get to boysenberry festival have a great time try all the foods enjoy the park and we'll see you at the farm see ready you joel at the farm i'm right. ready see you guys all right see ya bye, bye.